Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson, we're going to study subtracting many numbers. Here's my first example. We have eight strawberries or something. And there are eight. And we're going to subtract eight minus two minus two. So that simply means that these two would go away, right? And another two would go away. So now we can see the answer. There would be four left, right? Another problem, let's say we have 8, take away 3, take away 4. Again, you can use the picture. You can take away 3. 1, 2 and 3. You can take away 4 more. You know, if you have taken away those 3, then 1, 2, 3, 4 more. And only 1 is left. Over here, we're going to solve it in a little bit different way. 7 minus 1 minus 1. I'm going to think it this way that I'm going to subtract 1 and subtract 1, so I'm going to subtract 2 in total, right? If 1 and 1 goes away, a total of 2 will go away or be subtracted. So 2 will go away, those 2. So it's 7 minus 2 equals 5. Another example. We have 7 and then take away 2, take away 2. So in total, we are taking away 4, right? 1, 2, 3, 4. And so 3 are left. It's like 7 take away 4. Let me show you those two ways of thinking again. One way to think about it is that I first think 9 minus 2. I have 9 something and 2 go away. So I will have 7 left. 9 minus 2, that would be 7. And then from 7, I take away 3. 7 minus 3 equals 4. And the other way of thinking is that I think 2 are going to go away and 3 are going to go away. So in total, 5 are going to go away. 5 are going to get subtracted. So it is 9 minus 5. And that equals, of course, the same. 4, 4. It's the same answer either way you think about it. 